Hey everyone, Mike here. Just want to let you know that the stream that you're about to watch was recorded via the DevOps Lounge. Head on over to chat.learndevops.com.au. You'll be forward to Discord. I really hope that we get to connect soon. Enjoy the stream. Is development or operations better for getting into DevOps? So if I'm going to go, I'm going to make a move into DevOps from any any current position. What's better, development or operations? Well, the answer is um, is actually both. So you're gonna want you're gonna want a bit of both, but you, to be honest with you, you're gonna want more. You're gonna want more operations than you're gonna want development. So development is important in in understanding sort of DevOps practices. Again, because industry standard is moving towards a model of doing things as code, whereas, and that obviously requires being able to program. Whereas previously it was all click ops and you use UIs and so on and so forth. So there is going to be a need for you to be able to program. You're going to need to be able to learn. I would suggest learning at least Python because you're going to find that if you're using Jenkins or GitLab CI or any kind of CI um, platform, really, you're going to need to be able to create CI jobs and scripts that you can run inside of those CI jobs for doing all kinds of automation tasks for you. Uh, you may be creating CI jobs that involve a customer snapshot solution for EC2 instances. You don't want to use AWS Backup, fine. We need to do something ourselves. So we're going to need some custom solutions. So you would write a Python script, you would adopt the BOTO3 library, and then you would essentially then use that to iterate over some EC2 instances and perform some snapshotting with some custom logic around getting rid of old snapshots. So these kind of tasks do come up. And so you will be required to, to know how to program. However, DevOps, if I'm being honest, is still very heavily right-leaning with regards to we've got communication, collaboration, and planning over here, and then we've got development, and then we've got operations. It's still very much leaning to the right towards operations. So if you're hired as a DevOps engineer, your your day-to-day -day is going to be CI, CD, infrastructure, AWS cloud. It's going to be it's going to be 80% to 85% that, and 20 to 15% everything else to the left. So you are going to need a bit of pro. You're going to need some development skills. So I would say Python's a good start. Go is an excellent language for DevOps. It's an excellent systems development language. You're going to need to understand the difference between like scripted and compiled, how to compile things, how to run Python scripts, how to handle Python packaging, develop your own packages, maybe run a PyPy server. I don't really like PyPy, but it gets the job done. I do see it a lot, actually, surprisingly. You're going to know how to run tests, TDD, BDD, whatever they are. You're going to have to be able to do these things in a DevOps in DevOps environment because you will be expected to either to either manage them things, either actually take existing code and understand how to run it and test it and package it, compile it. You're going to have to learn how to use things like Artifactory and art and, and essentially places where you can store uh, build results from from pipelines. You're going to have to learn how to use those developer tools so that you can do the, the the actual operational side of things from a DevOps perspective, which is then deploying those artifacts into a live environment. So you're definitely going to need a bit of development without a doubt. However, it is much, much more heavily leaning over to the right. It's much more focused on the operation side of things. You are going to be interacting with AWS or your chosen cloud provider far more than you're going to be interacting with a Python code base. You're going to be looking at writing Terraform code far more that you're going to be writing python code and you're going to be looking at metrics and backups and disaster recovery patching release cycles and so on and so forth from an operations perspective far more than you're going to be looking at how to package a piece of software what library to use in the software how to compile it whether to use artifactory or gitlab's built-in artifactory storage and so on and so forth so yes you're going to need a little bit of development however it's going to be more you're going to be better off getting more operations experience, in my opinion. I come from a operations-heavy background. So network engineering into Linux administration, into Linux, uh, into web hosting, into the web world. So learning how to set up um, load balancers. These are all, these are all physical load balancers. Uh, physical load balancers, physical servers. Then moving into enterprise grade, the same thing. Oracle Rack, these huge clusters, so on and so forth. And then, of course, cloud comes along. And then that starts changing things because now you can spin up these things. It's all software defined, right? You can spin up these things using APIs, etc. So my background is very operations heavy, and I would say that that has been a, a key. That, that has been that has helped me get into the DevOps space and be and be good and be good at DevOps 
but also playing around with programming and learning how to programming has, I would say, put me put me ahead of most people in the DevOps space. Most of them come in from either a programming background or an operations background with no programming experience, and then they struggle with things like Terraform because it's code, and then they struggle with understanding how to a developer gives them a Python application, a Java jar file. And it's like this needs to be deployed, and they don't know what that thing is or or how to run it. They, don't, they understand that they need a a Java runtime in order to execute that Java file and things like that because they've never done any programming. And so a little bit of both. Sorry, a little bit of programming, but mostly operations. That would be my take. Very nice.